Morning, everyone. I believe every one of you must have drunk tea or coffee in the morning, right? Tea houses in Beijing are very famous. Uh, if you have time, you can visit the tea houses to drink some tea. I myself like to drink coffee every day. I would uh, drink one to two cups of coffee. I believe uh, everyone thinks so. Uh, to drink a cup of coffee or tea, it's such a delight in life. But imagine, if there is saltiness of seawater in your tea or coffee, you must find it hard to swallow. This actually was what it was like in Macau for a period of time. Uh, I will tell you the story in a little while. I believe many of you have been to the small city of Macau, and uh, it's a city where the east meets the west. Now, I would like to share with you some pictures to show you the beautiful Macau. Here we have the lotus pond. Actually, lotus is really special uh, in uh, Macau, and uh, Macau is also known as the treasure land of lotus flower. And uh, this shows our annual international regatta, and uh, it is a regatta happening in our artificial lake. And uh, this is uh, the major reservoir of uh, Macau. Around the uh, Macau, people would like to take a walk while they're chatting. And this is a uh, new landscape, landmark of Macau. Every tourist of uh, uh, in Macau would visit this tourist attraction, this fountain, uh, before our administration bureau. All these pictures show the close relationship of uh, water to Macau. And uh, from the geographic position perspective, we are also a coastal city. But uh, can you imagine Macau is a city with a severe shortage of water? So when you talk about shortage of water, let's uh, look at the definition of scarcity of water. The World Resources Research Center classifies the ratio between water consumption and the total amount of water available into five levels. If the water consumption of an area is 80% that of the total water available, it is level five, namely an area with severe water shortage, for, ex for instance, like Singapore and Saudi Arabia. Well, China is uh, level three, so we suffer from a scarcity of water. So when you talk about Macau, what level are we? What is the percentage? Just now we mentioned 80% means severe shortage of water. So you can make a guess. For Macau, it is 100% or 500% or 1,000%. All wrong, it's 2,000%. It means that the water consumption of Macau is 20 times that of all available water. Actually, it's not uh, hard to understand because uh, we don't have rivers, we don't have uh, very big reservoirs, and the uh, volume of uh, the water in our reservoir only can supply us for seven days. So uh, how can we develop? Why? develop could develop so fast and now you see we are already a famous tourist city in the world you're right all this is attributed uh, to our motherland's care and great support because over 95 percent of the fresh water in Macau comes from the West River in the mainland sufficient water supply has become the cornerstone for Macau's stable development but uh, all of this hasn't been easy because uh, 10 years ago, there was a severe uh, salty intrusion of seawater uh, in Macau. And uh, in our tap water, the saltiness has exceeded uh, 600 uh, micrograms per liter, far exceeding the national standard of 250 micrograms per liter. During that time, every morning when we turn on the cap to uh, tap to brush our teeth, we could feel the saltiness and a funny taste of the water. Households with babies would use bottled water and milk powder to prepare milk for their babies. Drinking coffee is no longer an enjoyment either. Once people even purchased bottled water in panic in Macau, which seriously compromised people's daily life. 
And uh, so during that period of time, uh, the central government attached great importance to it, and uh, the state leaders issued important instructions many times requiring the guarantee of water supply in Macau. And uh, with the great support of uh, the Ministry of Water Resources in China, they have transferred 800 million cubic meters of water from 1,000 kilometers away. It reached the water intake point of Macau after as long as uh, 18 days, alleviating the salt water intrusion in Macau and successfully securing our water supply. However, distant water cannot quench the present thirst. In these years, Macau hasn't just relied on the transferred water from 1,000 kilometers away to solve the salt water intrusion issue. We strengthened cooperation with the mainland and constantly optimized water supply facilities through engineering projects such as moving the water intake upward, adding pump stations, reservoirs, and laying water distribution networks. We have strengthened our ability of coping with salt water and supplementing of fresh water so that the water supply of Macau is further safeguarded and people are no longer threatened by salt water intrusion. Although the secure water supply of Macau was guaranteed with our motherland support, we were not like a spoiled child who only know how to ask money from the parents. The SAR government has made the decision to build Macau into a water-saving city. In order to achieve this, we established a cross-department work group, formulated the water-saving plan and outline, put forward eight guidelines and measures of broadening sources of water and economizing consumption, and drafted a 15-year water-saving plan and a blueprint. First, in economizing, we implemented a water tariff mechanism which combines the gradient and the classification system. For residents, we have adopted a gradient tariff uh, system. The less the water consumption, the lower the tariff. While for businesses, we charge higher tariffs in order to encourage water saving uh, using economic levers. But apart from that, if you look at this picture, uh, you can see that uh, we have run activities in communities. And uh, we do it regularly giving away water economizers to uh, residents and uh, every small and medium-sized business. And in coping with uh, network leakage, we have uh, kept renewing pipe works, improving leakage detection technology, successfully bringing down the leakage rate from double digit five years ago to the current single digit. And uh, so uh, the residents are saving water. But you see, commercial water consumption is rising. And uh, so in order to uh, help the commercial consumption to drop, we have uh, tried to adopt different measures. For example, we are electing environmentally friendly hotels, encouraging the tourists to save water. And through such kind of uh, efforts, uh, we have already reached the water saving target of the first five years. And uh, in the future, apart from further expanding the water saving work, we will also devote ourselves to broadening the sources of water supply. We already made a 10 year plan for developing and utilizing recycled water. The objective is that in 10 years time, recycled water will account for 10% of total water consumption. We are progressing towards the goal of building a water saving city now. So much is the water story of Macau and uh, we will step by step turn Macau into a water saving city. And water is the source of life. I believe everywhere you have life, you have a unique story of uh, water. And uh, I believe the story of water in Macau will give you some inspiration so that the precious water resources are more cherished. Though born a thousand miles apart, souls which are one shall meet. Today, I'm very fortunate to be able to get to know you. I hope one day, when you come to Macau, it is no longer just the World Tourism and Leisure Center. It also welcomes you as a water saving city. At that time, don't forget to visit me. I will invite you to a cup of coffee. But don't worry, it will not be salty. Thank you.